That's the German instructions. In our new philosophy of air guns and hatchets, we'd like to talk to you a little bit about recycling. So stay tuned to the end of this video for a special how-to edition of recycling. First we're going to talk about this airsoft gun. It's from Umarex. Uh, they cost a little over a hundred bucks, but they look like a pretty interesting little gun. It says it can shoot 430 feet per second. I guess we'll have to give that a try. So it comes in a box with some instructions and things. When you take a look at it, it does have a magazine release where you'd expect to find one. And when you pull on that, it brings the magazine out about that far. And then you push this back mag release. And we'll get into that in a second. It doesn't really have a chamber to check. I think this is a cock and lever up here. We've got a loading chute here. Got a safety. And then we've got a selector. And then hidden underneath the front sight, we have a loading port. Of course, we've got the business end here. It doesn't weigh too much, but it's not real light. So to load it, you would pull back on that front sight. And you just use standard 177 caliber metal airsoft bullets. And the capacity says it's 300. It's been a while since I bought these, so I don't think I cut that bottle the right way. But whatever the most efficient way is, I'll have to figure it out. It's been a while. Then you just move that front sight forward. You can pull this loading gate forward, and then it locks up here. And then as you shake the gun around, you can see them line up here in this chute. Then once you've got it loaded, you drop that, and the spring pushes them back, which is probably important for the full auto function. Now we have to give it some propulsion. You've got the magazine and this little key. Then the magazine comes apart here at the bottom. And then you just get some of these CO2 cartridges. I'm assuming these are standard size like they've always been. And then the way this works is two of them are in this magazine. Your little key fits into this screw back here. That pierced the first one. That one didn't make any noise when it pierced. Then you put the magazine bottom back together. Covers up all those screws, I guess. And you insert your magazine. So we've got a safety here and the selector back here. Now once you've got the cartridges in there, you just have to take it off safety, flip that selector to full auto, and really the only other thing you have to worry about is getting far enough back from a target. I guess we could probably use these and then the only other thing that we found through experimentation that works even better than the full auto BB gun is getting two of them. So, uh, pretty cool. It emptied out all my BBs there, so I'll bring that loading gate back forward. Put it on safety. Shake it around. Get that thing full of BBs. And these are the old fashioned metal style airsoft BBs, so you want to be careful with these. See, it empty that loading gate again pretty quick. Back on safe. Since it holds 300 in the magazine, or in this hopper, 
you can get about 56 round bursts since that's what these things do is shoot a six round burst with each pull of the trigger. Well, that wasn't very many. I still haven't mastered the trick of getting these things loaded, but I've mastered how to unload them. So there's the German instructions. I think they did a pretty good job of showing you how efficiently the rate of fire works. Safety off. Yeah, these are going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, highly recommend them. I suggest you buy them by the pair. Oh yeah. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals at GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year. Practice at least once a month and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.